in the treatment of spinal pain, arm and leg pain, joint and arthritis pain, and headaches. Medically supervised weight loss with the genuine HCG tablets or prescription medications are available as well. Your health is their business. Advanced Healthcare and Spine Institute in Jessup. Health for life. Come visit your local hometown package store. At Bell's, they have fast and friendly service with a smile. Are you hosting that special holiday or business event? Visit Sandy for all your wine and spirit packages. You can call Bell's Package Store at 912-427-2420. That's 912-427-2420. Or visit them at 391 Lanes Bridge Road next to Sidetracks. This is Charles Huffman at Jessup Housing Outlet. If you haven't been to Jessup Housing Outlet lately, you're missing out on a large selection of new and exciting floor plans from the nation's top manufacturers like Clayton, Fleetwood, Scott Built, and Homes of Merit. All of our homes feature modern kitchens and appliances, R60 and higher insulation values, thermal pane windows, and energy efficient heat pumps. We have two locations to serve you, 2452 Savannah Highway in Jessup and Highway 301 South between I-16 and the bypass in Statesboro. Come see Charles, Bay or Sheridan today. Morton Collision is located at 1320 West Pine Street in Jessup. Morton's offers free estimates, 23-hour towing, and they guarantee their work. Call 427-3769 or after hours, 912-294-6140. The staff at Morton Collision Center works with all insurance companies. So for guaranteed work with a qualified staff, go to Morton Collision at 1320 West Pine Street in Jessup. Morton Collision, quality you can see. Local news on WIFO. It's time now for a look at latest in local news in the news. Wink County Superior Court in session today with a lot of pleas to be taken with the calendar call this morning. Jury trials begin on January 4th in Wayne County. Still a lot of murder trials and child molestation cases, drug cases on the court docket. WIFO FM continues to follow the criminal trial proceedings at the courthouse. We'll be following the trials to get underway in the year 2016. Still several murder trials on the court docket. One of those still on the court calendar is the murder of Willie Joe Vaughn on Beaver Creek Road, in which her daughter Eugenia Lynn Shell has been charged with the murder. That murder trial is scheduled for some time in the year 2016. And WIFO film continue to follow the court proceedings at the courthouse. Again, a calendar call today with jury trial set for January 4th of 2016. Attorneys for movie director Randall Miller asking a Georgia judge to set him free early, although an attorney for the victim's family, Surrey Jones, is asking that that not happen. The movie director was sentenced to jail for the death of camera assistant Sarah Jones, which occurred in February of 2014 in Wayne County while shooting a film about singer Greg Allman. The Midnight Rider director Randall Miller began serving a two-year sentence at the Wayne County Jail in March after pleading guilty to charges of involuntary manslaughter and criminal trespassing. Hearing was set for this past Wednesday, but was canceled. Again, the legal motion by Miller's attorney says he should be released because of his model behavior and deteriorating health. Once again, the family of Sarah Jones opposing early release. Once again, the hearing was canceled. No word if it'll be rescheduled. Again, WIFO will continue to follow the story as it develops. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. All of us at Altamaha Federal Credit Union would like to thank our members for allowing us to serve you this year and to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a happy and prosperous New Year. Altamaha Federal Credit Union. Local people you know and trust, serving our community for 60 years. Jessup, Ludowisi, and Scriven. Working men and women want a truck that works as hard as they do and looks good doing it. Two-wheel, four-wheel, gas, or diesel. Regular crew cab. And all the wall super duties, too. Ford owns work, and we'll make it easy to own Ford. Get your fuzzy body to Woody Folsom Ford Baxley and nail down some zero for 60 on F-150s and super duties. The holiday sales event is unlike any other sale of the year. The financing's free for 72 months on select new Escape, Taurus, Fiesta, and Expedition. Over 300 brand new Ford F-Series trucks on the ground. We're popping deals all over 341 West and Baxley. Come check us out at Woody Folsom Ford. Ford.com. Then get in here and pick out the perfect pickup. Save that money. Extra lenders on hand for quick approval. Hey, hey, hey. Come on today to the holiday sales event. Hurry. It's January 4th at Woody Folsom Ford. 341 West and Baxley, USA. Some restrictions apply. See you for details. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Oh, tell me. 
When it comes to investing your money, a professional is usually better than doing it yourself. But where do you turn for help? The answer is closer than you think. Country Trust Bank, part of Country Financial, has been providing investment management services for 38 years. No matter where you're starting from, you can take advantage of this expertise. Just pick up the phone and give me, Shauna Quinn, a call at 588-1051. I'll show you how effortless it can be to get investment experts working for you. Investment products and services offered by Country Trust Bank or Country Financial Bank products and services are not FDIC insured and not guaranteed under subject to investment risk. Wayne County Commissioners have called a budget work session for this Wednesday morning at 11 a.m. in the County Commissioner's meeting room. Budget always a big part of the yearly process as the administrators met with all the department heads to go over each department's budget, looking at needs and also looking for ways to cut spending. WIFL will be on hand have a report on our local newscast. Beginning January 6th, qualifying for special election for District 4 and the school board takes place. The time, 9 a.m. at the probate office will run up until 12 noon on January the 8th. Vacancy due to Dick Woodward resigning a couple months ago. Qualifying fees $100. So far, no candidate has announced his candidacy for the position. He will follow the qualifying process, which again begins on Janu January the 6th. You're going to have to fill District 4 school board seat on the Wayne County School Board. City of Jessup says that they have another delay in the tearing down of the pile house on Littlefield Street. It's going to be used as a fire department training session. Again, they were hoping to have it done by the first of the year, but again, a snag has been developed, and again, more paperwork has to be done. So again, it will be taking place sometime in the year 2016, but not before New Year's. Again, it's been an eyesore in that community for the past 10 years. Again, the construction began on the house 10 years ago, but simply stopped. The house has never been completed, never been occupied. And again, it's been an eyesore for the past 10 years. Commissioners have received complaints and appeals for help from residents in that neighborhood. Again, they've gone to court, gone to environmental court again the city hoping to destroy that building with a fire exercise they were hoping to have it done by the first of the year but again due to more legal ramifications again they said it'll be after the first of the year georgia state patrol states that eight traffic related deaths occurred across the state on georgia this christmas holiday season it began on Thursday, December 24th, ends at midnight Sunday, or ended on midnight Sunday, December 27th. State Patrol says, says now they gear up for the New Year's Day weekend, which will begin Thursday, December 31st, and then Sunday, January 3rd. Again, both Christmas and New Year's weekends this year, 78 hours long. And Colonel McDonough of the Georgia State Patrol says they want everyone to enjoy the holiday season, but they also want motorists to be safe on the roadways. Drivers traveling during the holiday should make safety a priority by obeying the posted speed limits, avoiding distractions inside the vehicle, and by being courteous to other drivers. Also, be sure to wear your seatbelt and no texting and driving. And during the holiday travel season, Georgia State Patrol teams up with local law enforcement from across the state for their campaign, Drive Sober or Get Pulled Over. And they say it's a high visibility campaign which targets impaired drivers. Again, the holiday period gets in the way Thursday and runs through Monday. We'll be back with some final news notes after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. All of us at Altamaha Federal Credit Union would like to thank our members for allowing us to serve you this year and to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a happy and prosperous New Year. Altamaha Federal Credit Union, local people you know and trust, serving our community for 60 years. Jessup, Ludowisi, and Scriven. Used car rebates are back for the holidays here at Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC in Claxton and Jessup. And that means you're going to save a ho, ho, ho lot of cash on a used car through January 4th. I'm Ashley Neesmith from Neesmith Chevrolet in Claxton. And I'm Mallory Neesmith from Neesmith and Jessup. We've got two ginormous used car lots packed with over 250 vehicles. And every used car has been redlined and discounted. And marked with a used car rebate up to $1,500 on top of all savings. If you want it, we've got it. Low mileage cars, luxury vehicles, program cars, and budget cars starting at $75.90. Used BMW. Nissan's Cadillacs, Chevrolet trucks, Honda's Lexus, Mercedes, just about every make and model. With up to $1,500 in used car rebates. We guarantee all is merry and bright at Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC in Claxton. And Neesmith Chevrolet Buick GMC in Jessa. Online at NeesmithNow.com. The original home of no hassle buy. Often imitated, never duplicated. Buy new roads. Enjoy the spirit of giving by getting the cash you need from First Franklin Financial. Come see your friendly Franklin folks, Crystal, Shannon, Randy, or Kathy at 1074 North Macon Street. Call us at 912-427-4237 or apply online at www.1ffc.com. Make this Christmas season something to sing about. Merry Christmas from all of us at First Franklin Financial. All loans are subject to our liberal credit policy and limitations, if any. First Franklin Financial Corporation, NMLSR number 141654. Georgia Residential Mortgage License number 5656. 
Final notes news, Wayne County Chamber of Commerce eggs and issues set for January 8th at 7.30 a.m. at the Coastal Pines Technical College. It's a Friday at 7.30 a.m. Confirmed legislators will be attending are Senator Tommy Williams, State Representatives Chad Nimmer, and Bill Workheiser. The event's been one of the highest attended events that the Chamber of Commerce host. They have 120 reserved seats. It's a great opportunity to hear from the legislators before they head to Atlanta to begin the 2016 legislative session. Event sponsorships are $250 for a table of eight seats with sponsor recognition at the event. Table sponsorships are available for four reserved seats. Reservations can be made by contacting the Chamber at 427-2028. Pre-registration tickets are $15 per person. Tickets at the door are $20 per person. Again, everyone is invited to attend. That's Friday, January 8th at 7.30 a.m. at the Paul Scott Technical Center of Coastal Pines Technical College. Chamber of Commerce also has a Lunch and Learn program set for Thursday, January 7th at 11.30 a.m. at the Paul Scott Technical Center at Coastal Pines Technical College. The presenting sponsor for the event is Boykin Steel and Crane. Chamber is very excited to have Barry Murphy as the featured speaker. He'll discuss and answer questions about the Affordable Care Act and the significant impact of the Affordable Care Act on small businesses. If you need more information or like to register, simply contact the Chamber of Commerce at 427-2028. The event's for the entire community. Public's invited to attend. Registration $15 for Chamber members and $20 for non-members. And again, not too early to mark your calendar for the special event taking place February 5th at the Coastal Pines Technical College at 7.30 p.m. Entitled Fair Haven Starry Night. The event's presented by Mike Birch, Ford of Blackshear. It'll feature Wayne County's own Crystal Hopkins. She'll be performing with all proceeds going towards Fair Haven. Tickets $35 each. There'll be coffee and desserts. Again, the date February 5th at 7.30 at Coastal Pines Technical College. That's going to do it for the latest in local news. Sports comes your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan saying have a great day. You've been listening to local news on WIFO. Greetings of the season from Laredo Mexican Restaurant. May you have a joyous holiday and may your home be blessed with peace this holiday season. Happy holidays from Laredo Mexican Restaurant, 723 North 1st Street.